Hi guys and welcome to my channel. For those who are new here, let me fill you in. My name is Car, and on my channel you see me zigzagging across the globe exploring all different kinds of places. In this series I embark upon a 30 day road trip in the USA with my ride or die, my twin sister Cara. We depart from San Francisco and we'll finish our trip in Texas. In this episode we go Alien Guys, cue the X-Files soundtrack, Area 51 is our destination where we visit all the must-see spots, we of course check out the front and back gate of Area 51, the infamous black mailbox, the extraterrestrial highway sign, the beef jerky store and the Alien Research Center. And to top it off we stayed at the super charming and only hotel in Rachel, Nevada called Alien Inn. Stay tuned! Zap us aliens! Zap! We come in peace! Send us one of yours and we'll send you one of us. Send us a sign. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God. The sign's there, card's there. Gonna go left? Where is He's it? gotta go left. See that green sign behind the... Ah! Hey, where are all the stickers though? They're gone, car. They it's cleaned weird. it up. They must have really cleaned it up. There must be another one with all the stickers. There's some stickers. We've made it, car. Aliens, we're here! 33 years later and we made it <laughs> to Nevada, Area 51. Nevada! <laughs> well, we're not in Area 51 yet, but it's so legit, Kat. It's so legit. Oh, look at it go! We've made it. Caroline's got her nipples out for the aliens. <laughs> Come get me! Take me! <laughs> You can come to America and not get a picture with the sign. Come on, get in there, you. <laughs> we'll Photoshop you a whole new face. <laughs> All right, off to leave our letter in the black alien mailbox. But before that, we passed by the Alien Research Center, which unfortunately was closed. But we did go there the day after, which you will see later on in this episode. All right, so we just arrived in... Nevada and near Rachel or Alamo, no Rachel, Area 51, also my hair, known as Area 51. Anyways, this is to show you where we are exactly. There's the massive alien. Massive alien. Check! On to the next. Now, all we need for the vlog would, would be great content if they could just kidnap us, bring us back safely, give us all the answers to all our questions. That would be great. Aliens, yeah. are you listening to me, please. Sirs and women and, and non binaries. Maybe they're here. What the hell you are? We arrived a little bit late today because we left late from Vegas. But tomorrow we're going to see all the sights and do everything that has to do with aliens. <laughs> when in Area 51, you got to do it. So uh, I'm going to make a picture of Car now with a massive alien. And then we're gonna go to a little Ailey Inn, funny name, uh, which is a little hotel in Area 51. Here we are. It looks like Kara is sacrificing her baby to the aliens, but she isn't. Uh, can we just talk about how crazy the weather here is? It fits the setting perfectly. Um, so, but what's really the story behind this mailbox? Well, it belongs to Steve and Glenda Medling, and he supposedly worked at Area 51 when the alien thing became a thing in 89. So one thing led to another, and people started leaving mail for the aliens or sifting through the letters hoping to find classified correspondence. We also wrote a letter and left it and asked questions like, do you guys know how to time travel? Have you ever been captured by humans? Do you walk amongst us in disguise? And have you ever captured a human? We closed the letter by saying we would love to get an answer and eager to encounter them one day. Hopefully a peaceful one, of course. Whoa, thunder! hardly wait to meet you soon, eh? Don't be strangers. Come to the march for a visit. Oh, we are also leaving our letter. Of course. Hey, uh, greetings from Amersham, England. Earth. Good shot to you. Oh, England, sorry. Good <laughs> <laughs> shot to you. Hey, best wishes. Diamond talk. <laughs> our letter is so serious. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that thunder is so sick. Nice. 
guess. It's <laughs> cool to talk to. Yeah, now you want to put it in? No, drop it. Sorry, but of course I had to sift through those letters. You would have done the same. And if I were you, I would definitely pass by the mailbox and experience it for yourself. You can leave anything here, and there was even a vape in there and some cigarettes. Anyways, before heading to the Little Ailey Inn, we decided to visit the back gate of the secret Nevada base of Area 51, which was kind of stupid because we couldn't see anything anyways. Um, and I was pressured into it by none other than my own flesh and blood, Kara. Uh, yeah. Let's see that back entrance to Area 51, girls. You ready? I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just very curious to see what happens. I mean, if somebody turns on their lights, shut the front door, that's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you sound thrilled, <laughs> if, I may, if I may say so. Anyways, the internet here, it doesn't work. Although not on our phones, not on the GPS. Where is Rachel not on there? Because it's a hidden town. Is it? You guys already getting me into this. I'm ready. Okay, there's a gap in the white. Sorry. In the white line here. You can see all the military like tire trucks. Oh, the tire trucks. Yeah. Okay, we got scared, guys. We're turning back. <laughs> it's also too far, and we can't it's see jack shit, you know. Yeah, it'll be better in the morning when we can see the path. Yeah. Yeah, it's far and it's late, and we gotta check in, check in, eat, put the baby to bed, and then Caroline was saying that's irresponsible. Do you want, like, Just FYI, Caroline doesn't want to go. No, because it's 15 kilometers to go and 15 to come back. I think that's too much. Blah blah blah. And Car, I think we should call the little alien because I don't know about check in, like if okay, that lady goes away or something. Party pooper. We're here. All right, we just arrived at the little Ailey Inn uh, in Nevada, in Rachel, Nevada. Here it is. And it's this tiny little motel. It's so cute, seriously. And this is like the little restaurants and there's um, separate units. There's separate units over there. Uh, ours is five dash one and great, like two double beds, really warm and toasty, en suites, bathroom. So it's like really nicely arranged. And we were a little bit late for dinner, unfortunately. So the restaurant is closed, but they're making us some sandwiches, which is great, super kind. It's like nine almost, uh, but they are. And we got some wine. So we're gonna have a little bite to eat now, drink some wine and then, um, and then probably go to sleep early because we want to do a lot of alien related stuff tomorrow and yeah i'll give you a little tour now of the little restaurant inside and it's got like all these fun memorabilia knickknacks and stuff like that so uh, i think you're gonna like it i'm gonna show you welcome earthlings Here we go and there's a little ufo on the outside let me show you There's the sweet guy that's making us our sandwiches and give us wine. Here we are, the Little Ailey Inn, which is really the only place to stay in this area. Um, and it's also a diner for the inhabitants of Rachel, all 50 of them. Um, the owner of the Little Ailey Inn told us that he preferred we didn't film extensively because this place was allegedly copied to the T in a movie called Paul, which stars Seth Rogen. And he was really upset about that because they never received any recognition or money. Anyways, this place is really cute and I highly recommend you stay here when you visit Area 51. The owner is really nice and the rooms are just perfect nothing crazy but comfortable inside the diner it's filled with pictures of alien sightings and other fun knickknacks and you can hang up a signed dollar bill to leave your mark on area 51 also don't forget to order the alien burger it's super juicy and delicious Five, one. Oh yes it's too good <laughs> someone pushed it pushed. no it didn't yeah they did there's aliens there's around. aliens here they're here don't start. <laughs> and then here is our little humble abode. Oh, tiniest, cutest thing. This is adorable. Like. Area 51 cups, and then here it says. And we got this from the movie place, and we're gonna watch it, guys. VHS, old school. I mean, it's like going back in time. We're gonna watch this now. When in Nevada. Watch the fifth element. Watch the fifth element. As they say, as, as they the age-old saying goes. Last from the fast guys. I know. 
Fast forward, rewind like them good old days. Uh huh. Just woken up. And these are surroundings. I mean, it really looks like Rachel, Nevada, middle of nowhere. Now we're gonna go have breakfast there. So we had the all-American breakfast fueling up for our big alien-related exploring day. By the way, Americans really are the nicest people, by the way. So friendly and kind. It feels so different when you come out of the city because everything's just like so much like more peaceful and homely yeah. and yeah, slow paced and yeah. um, nice. It's like, like local. We're locals now, you know. <laughs> and Rachel is like a town, a town, town of right? 70 people. Seven. 70 people live here. We're probably gonna cruise by later. We'll be like, this is it, oh, this this was it, <laughs> in 10 seconds, in under 10 seconds. Yeah, there's, there's one shop, which is the gas station convenience store. All oh, right, I saw that, yeah, we need That's to go past there. There's, an, also alien, alien there's an alien in a car there, <laughs> in a towing car. Anyways, right, so we're just having our breakfast, and then we're gonna go explore. You folks be safe out there. Thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much guys. I'll see you in, uh, in Arizona. Definitely, Chuck, it was a pleasure. Very nice meeting Good you meeting folks. you. Nice Bye. Nice to meet you. Be safe, okay? Nice see you. Thank you, Chuck, for the show, and a little shout out to you and your lovely grandson. I really hope you make it big one day. Good morning. We're in Alien Central. Alien Central. Exciting. We're in Area. F well, we're in Rachel, Nevada. We're in the midst of Area 51. Yeah. Anyways, um, as you can see behind us, it's like deserted land. And today we're going to do lots of exciting stuff. Very. We're going to uh, go to the, the back gate for sure of Area 51. Mm -hmm. And then we still need to just figure out what to about do. the front gate. Yeah. Um, but we're going to do everything that we did yesterday. Right? We're going to have beef jerky, alien beef jerky. Yeah. Right. All right. So. <laughs> We're about to check out from the little Ailey Inn and uh, I was just talking to the owner, the guy has like the longest beard and he looks his long hair and really nice guy, very nice guy. Anyway, so I was just talking to him and he was giving me some tips about where to go here in Rachel and then I look over and he has a, he's strapping heat, he's packing heat, he's strapping, he's strapping he's packing heat on his hips. I was like, sir, you look quite legit with that Glock and with that gun on your, on your hip and he's like, this is a wild west, baby. Anyway, so the people here are so because then we met this young uh, kid at breakfast who was there with his grandfather. Yeah. And he, like I walked past him and he was like, excuse me, ma'am. And I was like, wow, that's so blunt. And he looked like 16 years old, you know, such a cute kid. Yeah. So then after you circle around and we're like talking to him uh, and his grandfather and he said, I say to him, like, you're so polite, you know, and he says, well, I can tell you one thing. That's just how we do it in the South. Yeah, and <laughs> such a beautiful, beautiful uh, kid, actually. Very good looking. And then he laughed like, ha, 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 Not like that. It was uh, more like, is it Harold and Kumar that last time? I don't know. Uh, and then I went back to make a photo of the little alien from the outside. And he was still there. And he gifted me a CD. Chuck Andrews. Shout out. Shout out to Chuck. Country kindness. Like small town kindness. You know yeah. what I mean? It's a thing, guys. It's an actual thing. All right, we're packing up and then we're going to go Except explore. That, that woman that... Yeah, that know, woman at the counter is a total... So she, she legitimately hates us. Yeah, she's a total... We don't like her. Yes, I love that. We're going to do it. That sounds okay. like, a, sounds Just like don't an adventure. Freak out. Yeah. We won't. Yeah, definitely. No, we won't, we won't freak, freak out. out. <laughs> oh, no, I won't freak out either now. Because... I'll be fine. Right. I'll be... I have a moment she's of... She's got nerves of steel. Oh, I'll, have an, I'll have a moment of... Yeah. And then I'll reboot. Nerves of steel and fine. balls of titanium. And I said, as a, as a driver, you're feeling control, so it's, it's easier yeah. to cope with it. This is amazing. Look at this. I mean, it's like a typical, it's like a junkyard, actually, but it's amazing. Camper, trailers, and cars, oh, everything. Wow. Bye, little alien. Wonderful, hospitable place. Very nice. And off we go. In the middle of nowhere. Because last night we arrived and we were like, can we get some food somewhere around here? And as you can see, it's desolate. <laughs> there's nothing around. There's literally nothing around. Look at this. Look at this highway. Just straight. <laughs> Goes nowhere for miles. And then there also. And there also. And there also. The Alien Cowpoke Gas and Mini Mart is actually the only store in Rachel, Nevada. I mean, this town is literally 11 square kilometers. And this visit turned into Gossip Central because the lady at the counter apparently had this horrible relationship with a guy who had another chick on the side. And, you know, small town, everybody knows everything. So we got involved into that, which was juicy. 
But yeah, as you can see, anything and everything here to buy is alien related, so it's a quirky little store to visit. Plus, there's an alien parked right outside the store in his car. And this is Rachel, Nevada. Not a lot to see. A few houses, the little alien inn over there, there, and here, just some aliens. Chin chillin', if you will. This one's a bit tired. Hey, sleepy. Okay, we're going to the back gates. We're on the same road as yesterday, but now we can see, which is, uh, it's reassuring. It is? You feel reassured? Yes. Caroline is still scared, though. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm less scared now because we see stuff, you know, I can see. You can yeah. see where I'm driving, you can like, see what's ahead of me. Yeah. Here we see the influencer trying to keep it together. <laughs> she is trying piss. not to freak out. She is pissing in her little shorts. But is trying to conceal it with a water bottle. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I can tell. Somewhere behind those mountains, the aliens are being tested upon. Are being taken tested apart up. and put back together. <laughs> Actually, probably there's just like aircraft. You know, if you if you stake out here, if you live here, I would totally like smoke weed by the entrance, stake out, you know, like for fun. And um, and just wait to see what all comes in, you know? I mean, police will come arrest you in the military. They'll dissect you. <laughs> I'm Caroline. Something like that. Okay. Well, close it in slowly. Ah, bumpy road. There's a car there, yeah. Where? Isn't there? There are black dots. Oh, there is a car, yeah. Oh. There's, there's it is, Karin. There it is, yeah. Is, yeah. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. Oh my god. It's all happening, guys. Oh, that's a nice road. There's... Wild. Cue the scary tune. We have arrived at the back gate of Area 51. No joke, though, I had this haunting feeling we were going to get in trouble when we arrived here. So this guy is just a tourist. I mean, lo He's looking by his, by his sandals. Okay, there we got photography of this area is prohibited. I'm just gonna and zoom no in on drones. that. No drones. I mean, to be fair, like I was expecting a bit of a bigger wall. Cause this, what this, uh, this barbed wire only goes up till there. Yeah, that too. You know. So you could easily get over to the must. Be you have like only a small easy. fence after that. No yeah. drone zone. See that? A little fence. What does it say there? Warning, and then. I don't know. Unauthorized personnel, not proceed beyond this point okay we're at area Just, 51 yeah. the gate's behind me i'm like super petrified go a little bit closer come on um, no no there we go this is as close as i go and uh, i'm petrified because there's people in there and there's like big signs says no pictures and stuff like that so i'm like kind of shitting my pants <laughs> but um yeah this is it so we came it's in the back road entrance the anyway back road and there's another entrance we're gonna go to now the guy's going there too maybe we should follow him you yeah, know so that we're <laughs> like a drone may come to shoot us down now, but we don't know. Alright, there's car. <laughs> okay, we're heading back from the, the back gates. Yes, and there in front of us we see Rachel. It's honestly just trailers. It is just trailer. and trailers. And trailers and those with like 70 trailer or 50 houses. I still can't believe the advice that that woman gave us. She was like fixing something next to her trailer, next to her I love them. They were such nice people. They were such nice people. She was packing heat. She had this light, tiny little woman gun. I have a picture of it. <laughs> and um, uh, and she basically said, you guys are, uh, you, you guys are carrying? We were like, uh, no. <laughs> no, you guys like, carry. You should. Yeah. yeah, you should. Or or a second best is a knife. Yeah. All right? We said we were going to we get some pepper spray. And she said, that just turns them. Yeah. You need a knife. You need a knife because you need to stick them. And I was like, Oh, alright. <laughs> For anyone looking to come out here, this is the stop sign that marks the road to the, the back gate. And uh, that way is towards the black mailbox and the way back where we're coming from now behind us is Rachel Nevada. Rachel Nevada. 50 inhabitants. <laughs> Caroline killed the snake. Right, who, who cares? Just in the middle of the road, you know, and I thought he was gonna go left, so I feared <laughs> and then he went right on the wheels. He had his blinker on and everything. Oh god, that was awful. Murder. 
murder Shut by it, Shorter. You're a snake murderer. Here somewhere. All right, good news. We didn't get arrested at the first gate. Now let's tempt fate once more at the front gate. And I was actually so excited to come visit Area 51. I thoroughly believe in aliens, uh, but I was a bit wary of the military and how strict they are with the rules. We are, of course, never going to pass the actual gate, but even being there and making picks is already against the rules, I guess. Excuse me! Excuse me, sirs! Which way is Area 50? They've been told off by the government to not talk to Bye! Thank Bye. you! Bye! Thank you for your help! Be well! The first sign. The first sign. We're rolling up to the first sign. He's going up. That's fine. And everything else. Your car is towed. Your car is impounded. You will be, brought, you will be processed. Oh my god. Karin, please. Oh. Car wants to pass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm behind it! I'm a criminal! <laughs> Alright, we just... There's the sign, right next to the car. We parked it there at the sign. And we're walking on the path now, and the cameo guy is behind me, over there somewhere. I don't know if you can see him. I'm a little bit nervous, honestly. I don't know why I'm doing this, because, you know, there's rules, so my car's gone. She's like, F this, I'm gonna go over there. I will stay here, because I am a wuss, so... Just, can we just talk about how beautiful these trees are? They're so particular. Really gorgeous. Look at that. Car's like, F the rules. Thug life for life. And I'm over here shitting my pants, taking one more step further into unauthorized territory. I'm freaking out. This is a bad idea. Because look, the cameo guy's right over there. You don't see him now, but he's right over there in his car. I bet most people stop at the sun and turn around and go back. You think? Well... It's so small, it's almost negligible, that sign, you know? Yeah. Gate's right there, it's behind me. The front entrance to Area 51. I think this is a mistake, this is a bad idea, but... Oh well. These guys were fearful until we showed up and started walking and then they were like, We got this. Yeah. Right? Can do, we don't even speak the language. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They'll be like, and then, Pero no sé donde you're from the Netherlands. You could probably say we don't speak the language. <laughs> they've, been, they've been hearing me speak English the whole time. <laughs> Who's yours? My name's Cara. <laughs> nice to meet you. This is David, who we met en route to the gate. And actually, Carolina is just trailing behind. She's scared. <laughs> but uh, you know, my first boyfriend was called David. It's a good name. We, we're still friends, so. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be cold. What I'm worried about is walking back in this heat, to be honest. That's my main concern. How do you feel, car? I'm nervous, yeah. to be honest. These so guys are just reading the signs, so we'll I have a look at the signs and we'll turn back. Me like I have a child, and I'm going to have to take a fucking fall for it. I didn't do anything. So the gates are quite hard to find. We had to ask for directions and of course you won't find the way there on Google Maps. But we found it and let me tell you a little bit about Area 51, also known as Groom Lake. Um, it's actually a top secret US Air Force facility in Nevada known for testing experimental aircraft like the U-2 spy plane and the F-117 stealth fighter. This spot is shrouded in mystery and heavy security. Although the US government acknowledged its existence in 2013, specific activities remain classified, fueling this ongoing fascination and speculation. But it's widely understood to be a site for the testing and development of advanced military aircrafts and technologies, supposedly taken from alien technology. Anyways guys, your guess is as good as mine as what goes on over there, but it is shady. Okay. Alright, that was crazy. The gate's right over there. And we just walked all the way up to it, passing a non-trespassing, no trespassing sign. This one. Anyways, and um, yeah, and there's this guy, and, and the camo guy who's over there, you know, monitoring everything. There's cameras everywhere around. I didn't actually see the camo guy. I think it's, it is AC in the car. There's yeah. cameras there on the mountain, you see? Yeah, yeah we filmed them. And uh, si sorry, <laughs> and sorry, <laughs> and signs saying uh, no trespassing, no photographs. It's really hot, and I'm and, like, uh, yeah, it was quite wild. Glad we did it. Yeah, and we met up with uh, David, American, and two Spanish that. guys, <laughs> and two Spanish guys who uh, we all brave, bravely walked past the sign. Yeah, I think. we didn't need to pee though. Do you think it's illegal to pee here? Definitely. I think in groups people feel more ballsy to do these things, but I was going to do it anyway. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to walk to that corner to see if I could see the gate, and then if I 
you know if i would have like been alone maybe i would have stopped in that corner and just zoomed in on right. it yeah, that makes sense. nothing happened like they didn't even sound an alarm no that's true but they may be just waiting at the end nothing at all Damn, yeah, dude, it's still in his car. It's way too hot to get out. Maybe, He's probably sleeping. Yeah, I was just gonna say, maybe he just fell asleep and doesn't even know that we were there. <laughs> Somebody's getting tired. Know. All of these people uh, on these cameras are watching us, like 100%. Yeah. yeah, all you need to do is climb up to the top of that mountain, probably to see. There is a viewpoint where you can see Area 51, like the actual base. And that's from the Tikaboo or whatever. I think it's called Tikaboo um, Hill. But it would take us like extra hour to go there and we're driving to utah today so <laughs> our tinfoil hats are on we're ready to meet the aliens but we need a little bit of protection think of this as our hard hats <laughs> just in case my <laughs> they're trying to read hectic. our minds yeah yeah yours doesn't even quite fit in the shot like, I, don't know that, like I have i look oh, like i have something going through my head coming I'm out the other side I like a tell it's everything. anyways we oh, went yeah. up to the main gates super fun a little bit scary and now we're off <laughs> Así que no puedo leer, you know. La foto definitiva. Sí. Ahora viene el coche por vosotras. Sí, exacto. And I can't do it from the other side. Here we go. We come in peace. Nice. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Could you tell me where the? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Look at her go. Look at those tortoises there. <laughs> now that's Maybe a woman that you better. can take home to grandma. Look at this window, it's so clean. <laughs> that's nice. I hope a trucker comes by. But <laughs> not a very busy oh, road. Eh? <laughs> yeah. There she goes. Sorted. She... Alright, two minutes. I think we're good, no? Her face isn't yeah. getting better, like, just, no. she keeps making this face. <laughs> Thanks, Car, for the objectification and the insults. Uh, but I don't take it to heart. This is what it takes to be a travel vlogger, I guess. Um, alrighty, up next we head back to the Alien Research Center, which was closed the day before. Came in. Look. Everything alien themed. Cute. What are these? Oh, apple wedges. That's cool. Kind of, there's all the hot sauces here. Alien sauces. And this is all the Burning Man. Uh, some Burning Man stuff. Cup of dreams. Oh, there's apple wedges. Sriracha style. They have this aisle here. The knife aisle. What the hell is that? Cool, look at that. Car! Yeah. You can write on the wall. Alien stuff, guys. This is the E.T. jerky e. place. Oh. Alrighty. Getting the best beef jerky in town. The only. The only beef jerky. Alright, as you can tell, there's not a lot to do in uh, Rachel, Nevada. But one of the places is this beef jerky place. So let's go try this alien beef jerky, shall we? Pleasure and pain. It's 12 bottles of hot sauce. Look. 
candy ass ass kicking whoop ass kick yo ass that's the death row right there oh my God. alien trump which we are buying we're buying big mama big papa big pop nice big mama i love what we you know but i want big papa Makes more sense. 3015 is your total? Right oh, that's there. Big Papa. And oh, that? Hot Mama. That was it guys, Area 51 really met my expectations from the little alien motel to visiting the front and back gate of Area 51 and of course the small town kindness will not be forgotten. Please don't forget to like, follow and comment and see you on the next one. Ciao!